what is it? Did you know there was this guy in the Bible that was shipwrecked on an island, and then they built a fire, and he was bitten by a poisonous snake, but it didn't harm him? And then Super Panda came and saved him? Uh, Steve, I think you're getting the Bible confused with your Super Panda comics. Graphic novels. <sighs> yes. But are you talking about the time Paul got shipwrecked on Malta and was bitten by a poisonous snake but didn't get sick? Yeah. You must be reading the Book of Acts. Yeah, well, I decided to start there since Dr. Bodner was making it sound really interesting in his sermons. What part of the Bible are you guys reading? Uh, well, the skits have been taking up a lot of my time, so I guess I've mostly just been reading the parables we're doing. I sort of got away from my regular Bible readings. I know what you mean, Alice. I've been so busy with cooking meals for the neighbors and helping the people at church who need someone to run errands, plus this show, I have not had a lot of time left over for reading the Bible and pray. Huh. Well, uh, I was so tired the last few nights, I must confess. I missed a few readings myself. Uh, you see, there is this free trial of the wonderful Wildlife Channel, and uh, I was watching all the seasons of Rubber Ducky Dynasty, plus some documentaries on horses in history as well. I thought you guys said it was important to spend time every day with God, since he, God wants us to be our friend and is just waiting for us to show up. Huh. Yes, yeah, Steve. I think uh, I did stay, say that, but uh, you see... Whoa! Uh, it's getting close to showtime! Right now, we have to go get ready! We'll talk about this more when we're done. Hurry, everyone! Let's go! talking about spending time with God. Which is what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Steve, we will see that in today's parable. We'll be back right after this. And now, the parable of the Great Banquet. A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. We will have steaks, and ribs, plus a pizza station with garlic toast, Caesar salad for the Caesar when he comes, and I want there to be something for everyone. Maybe the, some of those extra flaky buns, and a whole table filled with sweets, figs and honey, plus a triple layer cake with lots of frosting. The tofu pig! You forgot the tofu pig! You put that in, Steve. I never wrote in the script there was going to be a tofu pig. Um, got it. This is going to be the best banquet ever. We have gotten out your best china dishes, the white linen tablecloths, the gold serving dishes, plus a huge ice sculpture for the center of the banquet hall. I like it. At the time of the banquet, everything is ready for the guests to come to the banquet. We've added a table filled with fresh fruits, all cut to look like birds of all sizes. Oh, very fancy. I like it. Ooh, look, there's a peacock. And is that a panda? Yep. Don't ask. So he sent his servants to tell those who had been invited. Go tell all of our invited guests. Come, for everything is ready. But the invited guests, all alike, began to make excuses. Hello. I was sent to ask you to come to the banquet, since everything is ready. 
I'm sorry. I have just bought a large field, and I must go see it. But it is a banquet, like a man up. Please excuse me. Well, I will just try the next guest on my list. come to my great banquet. I told them all in advance. This banquet has the best of everything. What could be more important than this? Go out into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, those who cannot walk, those who cannot see. Bring everyone. When the servant came back, Sir, what you have ordered has been done. But there is still room. Go out to the roads and country lanes, and even further if you have to. Tell them how amazing the banquet is, and compel them to come. I want my house full. We are going to have the biggest and best party ever. And I tell you, not one of those who are invited will get a taste of my banquet. The end. Good job, everyone. I think this is a good reminder to all of us that we need to make spending time with God the most important part of our day. I don't get how this parable has to do with making time for God. Seems like it's all about food. Speaking of food, I'm hungry. Any leftover spaghetti? And maybe some crumpets? And some ground beef with sour cream? <clears throat> In this parable, God is the man who is preparing the banquet, and we are the people he invites. Always right. We, like the people who are invited, get the choice if we want to come and spend time with him or not. If we want to come to the banquet or not. This can mean coming to know him as Savior, like we talked about in the parable of the lost son, but God doesn't just want us to spend time with him once and that's it. He wants to spend time with us all the time. Just like he is our friend. Exactly. God wants to be our friend. And we should spend time with him. Because being friends with Jesus is the best thing ever. Just like the banquet is going to be the coolest and fanciest banquet ever. We don't want to miss out like the people who are making excuses. You mean being friends with God is even better than watching the wonderful wildlife channel? Even when they have the panda show on? Well... Yes, I definitely shouldn't have been letting it get in the way with my time with God. But what about Alice and Maria? They were using their talents for God, like we talked about in the last episode. Doesn't God want that? Yes, Steve, he does. And it's very important to do that, too. But we need to remember to make time to be alone with God each day, so we can get to know him. Yeah, it'll actually help us use her, our talents for him more, because it gives us time to listen to him and ask him what he wants us to do. Oh, wow! I really want to go read my Bible and pray right now. Me too. But I have to say sorry to him for letting other things get in the way with my time with him. Me too. Me three. Okay, we'd better wrap this show up so we can all go talk with God. Okay, if you want to read the peril of the great banquet for yourself, just turn your Bible to Luke chapter 14, verses 16 to 23. We'll see you next time on Puppet HQ Locking.